Hola. And that's about all the Spanish you're going to get out of me this morning. Don't exactly have a great uh, pronunciation of Espanol. Although I might say something like, No hay banda. <laughs> there is no band. And that's an inside joke because we're now here to decrypt the cryptic comment. Silencio. Yeah, silencio. The cryptic comment. That refers, of course, to the house which has now been revealed as Urban Legends La Llorona. Yes, the La Llorona house now has been has the prefix added of Urban Legends. Apparently they plan to do an Urban Legend franchise in later years, so perhaps in later years we'll see Urban Lebrin Legends and Chupacabra or Urban Legends, that guy with the hook, or <laughs> Urban Legends, the choking Doberman. <coughs> I don't know what the... Anyway, silly. But, but, of course, Silencio and Urban Legends, La Llorona, or depending on what part of the Spanish-speaking world you're from, La Llorona. Ooh, anyway, we have... Uh, I chose Silencio for the Yahirona house because of a motion picture called Mulholland Drive. If you've ever seen Mulholland Drive, it's a very interesting story about two lovely young ladies. Oh, I see Kitty. El Gato! El Gato Misterioso! Chupacabra. El Gato Diablo. Chupacabra, the furry lover. What was it? Frisky two times. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, El Bob. Actually, it should be La Bob because uh, Bob is a mujer gato. Mm. Lady cat. Oh, uh, let's see. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Getting back to where I was. Uh, mm, uh, I don't know where I am. <laughs> I get myself silly. That's enough to make me stop and start over and now I'm not, I'm not. I'm gonna head forge ahead, forge ahead. Yeah. Let's see, yes. Uh my Holland Drive, yes. Uh, in the film there's two ladies under very bizarre circumstances find themselves drawn to a mysterious nightclub in Los Angeles called Club Silencio, where there's a strange man with evil eyebrows and moustache goes, no I banda, and uh, weird, uh, weird acts are performed without any uh, accompanying live music, even though you see a guy playing a trumpet, he's actually not trumpeting, and uh, the idea that everything is recorded is part of the gimmick of Club Silencio, but there seems to be something sinister and evil going on as well, and you really should see the movie, and you won't figure it out the first time, and you should see it a half a dozen times before you get it, and one good clue is, um, Read The Wizard of Oz or watch the movie first and maybe you'll get a clue about what's going on in Mulholland Drive. But enough of that. Uh, there's What's important is one of the acts is the beautiful Rebecca Del Rio, uh, Rebecca of the River. The name itself is so significant that it's, it's just not funny for La Girona. So we have Rebecca Del Rio and she's got a teardrop, a teardrop tattooed on her face and uh, she sings, of all songs in the world, she sings the, the Aurora Orbison classic, Crying, you know, Crying over you. Only she sings it in Spanish. She sings, Chorando. It's just quite lovely. And uh, it's, what a, it's a breathtaking moment in, in the movie. And then suddenly she collapses and the music, she keeps singing because it's lip sync, because that's the whole gimmick of Club Silencio. Everything is really being silent. It's all been recorded, you see. <laughs> Silencio. And what is that strange woman with the blue hair watching everything? Anyway, Seymour Holland Drive. But, but that's where I got the clue Silencio from. It wasn't just using a Spanish word for the house. <laughs> which some people thought. So, 
Uh, and after all, silencio is not the appropriate term for La Girona because she's not silent herself. She's crying all the time. She won't shut up. Donde es muy hijos? Donde es muy gato? Right there is mi gato. <laughs> Or the most important Spanish phrase anyone should know. Donde esta el baño? <laughs> Please tell me quickly. <sighs> All right. So uh, I must now give my sharp cookie award first to someone I don't know their real name, but they went by the user ID. All is last. All is last. Yes, that was the user ID. And they were the first person to identify Silencio as La Llorona. But they didn't know the correct reason. So they guessed it, but they didn't solve the cryptic comment. Solving the cryptic comment took a bit of effort because the, the, they obviously scratched on to the fact Silencio is Spanish, you see, but they didn't figure out why Silencio and the whole thing of Mulholland Drive, and I had to nudge nudge, 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 nudge a little bit a few people to see if anyone would figure it out, you know, bringing up Doctor Who references and everything else. Finally, finally, one person put all the pieces together and understood that I was referencing Rebecca Del Rio and the song and the movie and how that fit in Silencio with La Llorona in such a cool way. And that was, of course, Heather Quackenbush, Mystique Freak. So, this is your second sharp cookie, I believe. Yes, because you got one before for surname. So, here we go. Sharp cookie, two of them, one for all this last, and one for uh, Heather, because uh, one guessed and the other one then went and solved it. So, there's your sharp cookies. Now, tomorrow we'll be decrypting uh, flashback. Oop. <laughs> Oh, uh, adios.